I took this tape and I taped around the edge of the cup because the lid is this color and I'm not going to glitter the lid. I'm covering this up so that I can do something like this. Something like this. These, those cups are not dry that I just showed. They have to dry and get a layer of epoxy on the top of them to make them look like they're covered with glass or resin. I did about 20 cups tonight. I stayed up all night and glittered cups. Now my kids got to get ready to go to school in a little bit. So I'm trying to debate if I should take a nap for 30 minutes or just stay up. I'm doing this fast because I'm tired now. I'm ready to take a nap. I've been up all night glittering cups. But hey, I'm a hustler. I'm a, I'm a hustler, homie. Ask about me. Ask about me. I'm a hustler. I'm a hustler, homie. <laughs> I'm a hustler, baby. I just want you to know. And where I've been, but where I'm about to go. Ow. <laughs> no, seriously, though, I have a lot of craft fairs coming up and different events that I have vendor booths at, and I have to come with it. So I did about 20 cups. Wait, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, 23, 24, 25. Damn, this is my 26th cup for the night. And when these dry later on, I'm going to do the glitter epoxy or the resin cover on top of them. Maybe around 1 o'clock. I'll start around 1 o'clock with the first cup that I did so that the recent cups that I did can be still drying while I'm working on the cups that I did yesterday. Okay, that's that <clears throat> for that first layer glitter. We gonna put this computer paper down. We gonna pick up this computer paper. And we're going to push a hard line. We gonna apply pressure. Pretty hmm. Imagine how it's going to look when we get that epoxy resin layer on top of the glitter. <clears throat> and then after I do the layer of epoxy, I'm going to add some stickers or decals, some encouraging quotes, inspirational quotes, funny messages, and then do another layer of epoxy on top of that. Because I want these um, these insulated, whatever these are called, I want these cups to be durable <clears throat> and to last my customers. 
so that they could have a piece of me and my creativity all year long. <laughs> oh, shit. This is hella pretty. I think this might be my favorite. Or maybe because I'm tired and I know this is my last one. Hell, I feel like I should just do another one. Maybe five more. Okay, so since I use my podge, <clears throat> since I use my podge, this is still wet. This is too wet for me to do anything to. So I'm going to spray it with some spray adhesive. Because after you do a layer of my podge, you're supposed to let this cup dry for 15 to 30 minutes before you do a second layer of glitter. But because I don't have that kind of time on my hands, I'll be using this Beacon Value Spray. Any spray adhesive is okay once you get your first layer of glitter onto the Mod Podge. Then you can use any spray like this so that you can go right ahead and apply a second layer of glitter to the places that look um, light or dense. I've had enough. I'm adding a little bit more Mod Podge. I just hope I don't mess it up because my um, spray adhesive is running low and I still see spots that need to be covered. I'm just tapping it lightly. So I don't want to disturb the glitter that's already on there. Okay, yeah, I'm overdoing it, peeps. Anyways. Take it down. Okay, yeah, I'm going to just go ahead and let this cup dry. And then when I do the epoxy layer, I'm going to mix some chunky glitter into that. 
as well so it will also cover up any spots that I may have missed and there that is guys that's part one of the glitter cup DIY tutorial hope you guys enjoyed hanging out with me I'll be back with the finished product real soon. Deuces. <laughs>